I'm thinking maybe I need to move to like a different area of my place so that it changes up the scene, gives some sort of variety. We're too slow. Welcome to my channel. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Exus and this is my channel Exus Does. I got more stuff to talk about. I'm on a roll. I'm three videos in on stuff I want to talk about. So we're going to talk about the next the next hot topic today. All right. And that is going to be um, titled, Does Everyone Have This Feeling or Is It Just Me? Yes. Transitioning into my 30s. I'm 29 this year and I'm going to be 30 next year. Not only do I feel like a bunch of existential dread about turning 30, but I also just feel like I'm expected to act a certain way because I'm going to be 30 next year. Does that make sense? And it might be because millennials, they were there for the development and the evolution of social media. So a lot of millennials were able to consume social media for what it is, like maybe in like the late 2000s with the takeoff of MySpace and Facebook, we were probably all in like middle school and high school then. And then it got really serious, like social media platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, and even Twitter coming out. But it, it used to be a cesspool back then, but it wasn't like a cesspool the way it is now. People who are my age and a little bit older and a little bit younger were able to like see the development of social media in real time. They remember a time without social media and they clearly remember a time when social media existed and when there was like monetary gain and influence you can create based off of social media. It's not necessarily a bad thing that people are able to start their own businesses on the internet. That's a great thing because if entrepreneurship wasn't easy, I feel like we would all be a mindless cog to society and working these jobs that nobody likes that are like that much harder to obtain. So I really like the idea that the internet has evolved into something where people can literally make businesses and create content and really go into business for themselves. I love that for all of us. But I also think we should be critical of it. And I think we need to be critical because now there is, and I, I talk about this in a lot of my other videos, there's a lot of misinformation going on out there. There's a lot of people trying to sell you on this idea or dream or course on how to have what they have but if you were to ask them if they really have it like that they probably don't they're probably going broke or getting all of their money from promoting this idea that they have it like that this is not cute this is not tea, okay. I talk about this in a couple of videos. I hope I don't sound like a broken record, but I do notice that there's just like this unnecessary pressure as I turn 30 to not wanna do things or engage in certain things because of my age. It could very well be my algorithm. My algorithm is like a toxic cesspool of whatever the fuck. I'm getting videos that like I just don't, I don't agree with whatsoever. We really out here just hating on each other. We just hate each other so much. So I gotta like fish out my algorithm because it's all messed up. But I was watching this video, 30 year old guy, I believe, talk about how why he doesn't want to party and drink anymore. He was inviting a lot of people in his space that he didn't even know if they were his real friends. He was talking about how party scene really isn't all that anymore because everybody goes to the party to be somebody, to look like someone, to look like, you know, they're going somewhere or they're doing something with their life that's the reason why everyone's unnecessarily flexing dressing up wearing makeup wearing their their sunday's best to club and all of that and i just kind of sat there and listened to him i kind of thought and i was just like who cares you still want to party and go out and club you can do that not everyone is really out there to flex and have a good time maybe most people are out there to have flex and have a good time but also what's wrong with that when we build up a culture that supports us flexing and having a good time you know like you're sitting here Hi hey guys, this is Editing Exes here. I wanted to kind of expand on this statement because I feel like what I said was very contradictory. So when I talk about wanting to flex and have a good time and wanting to enjoy yourself and whatnot, I don't inherently think there's anything wrong with wanting to flex from time to time when you do go out. There is something to be said about people who do go out on a daily basis every weekend or every other day and it's not really their job. You know, there there might be something to unpack there, but also for the people who just want to go out and let loose from time to time or for the people who want to dress up and look cute at the club from time to time, 
I don't really see anything inherently wrong with that when we build up a culture that celebrates it. Also, when you as a creator build up or are on a platform that does celebrate flex culture, YouTube did celebrate flex culture for quite some time and to an extent it still does, but you sit here and say that the way a certain type of person flexes or a certain group of people flex isn't the right way, but like, you know, having like a more high value, that's a fun word everyone likes to use, having more high value lifestyle isn't a form of flexing, right? I guess what I'm trying to say here, one isn't inherently better than the other and it should be okay, it should be just as okay if you wanna go out from time to time and celebrate and take pictures or versus if you wanna be like uber wealthy and successful party on an expensive yacht with like million dollar worth of champagne. Like, because again, you're part of this system that celebrates this form of high value, uber wealth, uber success that needs to be channeled and projected. I just feel like a lot of the people out here that are trying to give you guidance on how you should be leaving, living your life are also kind of the problem as well. Because again, while it is very, very good to learn how to better yourself and self-actualize, I feel like you're also selling this dream and this lifestyle that isn't really attainable to a lot of people, especially the common person, the common man and or the common American or the common individual in Western culture. In the corner of your room, kind of preaching this like holier than thou mentality of why you shouldn't do these things. And I would have more respect for you if you sat up here and said, I stopped drinking because it causes certain diseases, specifically colon polyps, specifically colon cancer, look it up, it's a thing. Then I'd be like, okay, I mean, that makes sense. Like you probably shouldn't do something that isn't healthy for you to that extent. I don't wanna drink because it's expensive. You know, I have fitness goals, clashes with the fitness goals I have. Okay, that also makes sense. You probably probably shouldn't want to drink because it's really isn't healthy for you. You could say you don't want to go out and party because it's a lot of work. It's really not that safe outside and it's really expensive to book a section. And at some point in your life, you kind of just want to sit down. You don't want to be on your feet all day, all evening. You know, that's like a reasonable thing to say, but no, when you go to the club, you're trying to go out to be somebody, trying to impress people you don't even know, trying to engage in spirits and energy that aren't worth your time. Like that's what she want to do. That's what she want to do. But there is a conversation of trying to invite spirits and energy and whatever new wave terms we're trying to come up with to talk about spirituality into your life. But you can also invite those same negative feelings by just sitting at home and admonishing people who do decide to go out and party. There's negative feelings and negative energy or whatever, negative spirits, whatever, everywhere. In my opinion, it won't just be at the club. It just, it won't just be like when you're drinking. When people talk about like the things you shouldn't do or you shouldn't engage in. I wish people would give more context clues as to why they don't do it. I would much rather people come up with like factual evidence as why these things are not good for you than like anecdotal experiences as you know you're ruining your life if you keep doing this at 30, right? Personally for me I haven't gone out in like a year. Yeah it's been a year. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say in this video is that I really feel like a lot of people out here are trying to trying to trying to like influence how I should be acting as a 30 year old, what I should be invested in, what I should be into. But either way, like even as a woman, like how I'm supposed to carry myself, like I feel nervous fangirling to y'all about my Sonic poster. This is the feminine thing to do. And <laughs> I've mentioned this before. I've, me I've, I've mentioned this quite a few times. You shouldn't let people tell you what you should do with your life, especially if they're not qualified to. And I've also said that the, the divine femininity movement is the, 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 the biggest, fattest grift ever and it's also a nefarious grift if you think about like black women and how that's impacting them but not gonna, we're not gonna talk about that i just feel like i should have it more together now that i'm going into my 30s and unfortunately i just don't and it sucks that i don't have it together and it sucks that like it feels like i'm being pressured to handle it a certain way to carry myself a certain way um, and it's just due to like a lot of the content that's out there and due to like the millennials just getting older. And it's so hilarious to see the same millennials who were bopping to WAP five years ago, who were bopping to Pooh Shiesty or Lil Durk four years ago. Yay, 
Lil Wayne, Drake, all of them, all the classics, Nicki Minaj, all of them, just sit up here and like shame the younger generation. Just like, ew. You guys like Ice Spice, you know? <laughs> people weren't rocking with y'all rocking to Drake. Like I was watching this video on luxury trips and this one creator was talking about how she plans a bunch of these luxury trips for her subscribers or her followers who want to afford the anywhere between $2,500 to $4,000 to go to these trips. Flies them out, they go. She makes like a pretty coin back, like a, a 60K profit, which I didn't even know that was a thing. Trips are specifically for creating content and creating a lifestyle and creating this idea that you're living this luxurious life with these women that just so happen to be your friends that you just literally met the other day because y'all are like handpicked by this influencer to go on this content trip, right? Like, and I'm thinking like, damn, do I have to do that now? Is that, is that what 30 year olds are supposed to be doing? Like these expensive luxury trips? Or I know a lot of my close friends will tell me, no exes, you don't have to do 30 a certain way like what like you could just go into your 30s and exist but it feels like I don't know I guess there's this existential feeling where at, like as you go into your 30s you feel like there's so many things you missed out in on your 20s at the end of the day like everything happens for a reason there's a time and place for everything this is not in the stars for you right now doesn't mean it won't be in the stars for you later you'll be okay but it just feels like with the plethora of flex culture out there, movements like black girl luxury, soft life, divine, whatever. I should be doing something different or I should be way more established in my career. It just kind of sucks a little bit. But I also know that even though it sucks and even though I'm being vulnerable about this right now, I also understand that there's no one way to adult. There's no one guaranteed way to success, especially in today's day and age, especially from what people older than us have told us in the past, there really is no one way to success. Sad because financial stability isn't even a guarantee anymore in this day and age. And that is upsetting. I guess that's just kind of how I'm feeling about this right now. That's kind of how I'm feeling about the, the whole, like about to be 30 years old in like seven months, eight months, eight months, you know? Um, and like how I'm gonna go into that and how I'm gonna go into being like an actual adult, not one that is just figuring it out along the way. It's scary. Anyway, <laughs> that's the end of my video. Let me know how y'all feel. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Like, are you in your late to mid to late 20s? And are you like super nervous of approaching 30? Do you feel like there's this unknown pressure to like act a certain way or stop acting a certain way as you approach your 30s? Do you feel like you have to like portray yourself in a different aesthetic? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching me i really appreciate it y'all are so sweet drink water all right goodbye